Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. In this video, I want to talk to you about the narky effects of karmic soulmates, okay? And I want to preface this by saying in many ways, we are all each other's karmic soulmates one way or another. Our kids, our families, people we meet on the street, people we've dated, people we're married to for the most part. And there is something to know about the narky effects, the snarky effects, but the narcissistic things that happen with people, particularly narcissists that we try to be involved with or that we even think that we love. So many times um, what we call mental health is actually your physiological health. These things can happen where you feel like you have some kind of weird version of post-traumatic stress disorder. You have aches and pains on your body. Your soul is trying to get you away from these people. So if we take someone and, you know, we were to ask like, hey, what happened with that person? Oh, well, you know, it started off okay. I thought there was an attraction there. But what wound up happening is it just seemed like she wanted to suck me dry for, you know, all my money, my efforts, you know, I made efforts. In fact, I think I was quite honorable. And usually there's one person who does have honorable intentions. But what then happens? Oh, man, I got scammed. I got scammed and I got ripped off. All I was hoping for was to be in love. This is what the journey does at first is it does give you hope of love, but the feeling of love is what comes to you and rem is remembered. It's the chasing and it's all the other stuff that when we try to give something a chance or we're giving the wrong person a chance or, you know, what people call handing over your power or even worse, you've put your entire life on hold because you think you're holding space. That is not how your twin feels you. Your twin feels you by feeling what you enjoy, feeling what is giving you joy, feeling you as alive and well and as a real person going about your life. You do not do each other a favor when you are turning into a shell of a person and that you're not living your life or doing something. Now, that doesn't mean that you're letting everyone in either. That is a mistake that people make because they will think like, well, if I'm going to live my life, I'm just going to date indiscriminately. No, I don't recommend it. In fact, I tell people don't. You are creating love space. That is what you're creating. You're creating love space. Now, if we take someone else and, you know, they've been making an effort to you know, do and be, and they think that they're, quote, doing the work by buckling under and buckling under and, you know, just giving excuse after excuse after excuse. And what happened? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? You know, I really thought that it was going to feel different. I tried everything. I know what my love language is, and my tank is not getting filled. How long am I supposed to do this? Well, that's a very good question because we are at a critical time where it is important to begin doing the integration work of the brand new template of relationship. What's that? Oh, you don't know what that is. That is a new body system, a new light body structure, which means that you have new ways of relating to everything around you. How do you relate to your family? How do you relate to your friends? How do you relate to foods? How do you relate to your job, your work? It helps you stop being an empath and it helps you to feel the things you should and not accumulate the things that you shouldn't. You mean like this terrible feeling like I've been duped? and I'm hopeless, and I was an idiot. I swear to God, I want to shoot that idiot who took advantage of me. I know you feel like that, but that's why we need to work on this, because just imagine everyone going around with these feelings of hostility, of having been duped, and, 
you know, it wants to pop out because there's nowhere to shove it. We cannot shove it under the rug anymore. I swear to God, first I wanted to do myself in, then I wanted to do that person. I know, I know, take it easy. This is happening left and right out there because it's no longer supported for people to live in those old ways. That sounds like a paradox, but this is why you're here. This is why you were activated initially. There are more activations for you. There's more sensations, good ones, more feelings. So you mean there really is, this is really real? Yes, it is really real. It's really, 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 really real. I didn't just make this up. I'm not delusional. I feel like I've been delusional. No. And I'll tell you something else. Both of you come here. Yes, yes. When it feels like it wants to pull you back, you say no. You do an about face and you move forward and you just say no. You say no to the exes. You say yes to yourself. You say no to the temptations and you keep putting one foot in front of the other to keep going forward. Okay, we're not going backwards. You're not here to be dragged back down into 3D and all that, all those games, all those things that make you lose yourself. You lose your resources. We're here to build up. We're here to heal from all that. So if you have questions about this, if you feel that you yourself have been feeling some of these feelings after or even during your questioning about is that really where you're supposed to be? Let's get you to focus on yourself, address the pains and discomfort, address your symptoms, address your mild or severe sense of PTSD, address what feels like, you know, something where are you delusional? No, you know what you felt. You just really need to move it along and I'm here to help you do that. I'm here with a proper modality with instructions. And when you follow instructions, doing that is what brings the results. These are the results of doing what actually is body work. Body work isn't listening to an endless series of videos. Body work is not pulling a card. Body work is working with your body and integrating the template that helps you be new because that's what you really signed on for. Both of you did. You and the real person, not the false person, not the catalyzed person, not those narky, snarky, karmic people. Oh my God, the karmy, smarmy people like, please, can we get rid of them? Yes, I help you to get rid of them where they're not even a blip on your radar whatsoever anymore. So please check out the links below uh, because this is going to be hitting people a lot from now until uh, really the solstice. You're going to see a lot of people kind of going into all of the stages of their false twin breakdown. So let me know how I can help you or better yet, stay posted and stay tuned for my next class is coming up on your Twin Flame Ascension. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe to my videos because this helps me get the message out to many more people. Bye now.